Okay, let's see how we do in this thing. How much of it I remember. We can do this to hit that one. Then we'll jump out. Then you want to do... Oh, shit. Okay. want to do that. Then that. Then... That. It's like... There's a lot of weird boomerang shit you can do in this level. Um, oh, god damn it, seriously? Okay, we're coming back to that one later. Okay, so take two at this. Let's try the same general thing, but uh, without air dodging off the level, hopefully. Dude, no. Okay, and this one you can... Fucking hell. <laughs> I rely on the air dodge for recovery too much, because it's... I, I think I, like... I'm, I'm, like, almost overcompensating with it. That, like, stuff like that. It's like, I feel like, oh, I can I can save this jump. And then I just make it worse. Okay, let's actually get this. And it misses completely, okay. This is not going to be a great time here. Whatever, just go over and hit it. Okay, this one you can stand on the leaves and you can get it. At least I thought you could. Never mind. There we go. And then this one you stand in the middle. That one's probably gonna have to be redone, but oh well. And we'll see what I remember of Pikachu's here. Wait for this one to pass. Go derp derp. And this one. Hope that you get lucky with the arc. Hope that you get lucky with the arc. Oh my god. That was really dumb. Okay, yeah, I'm clearly not knowing, knowing what I'm doing with this one. Or any of them. Also, those platforms are totally little mini Pokemon stadiums. It's kind of cool. <clears throat> I think you can do some trickery with Thunder in this level. You can hit targets a lot earlier than you're supposed to, like if you are positioned in just the right place. Because the thunder doesn't come from the top of the screen, it comes from the cloud. But, yeah. Okay, oh yeah, this thing. It's like, I, I, I actually remember uh, Julepuff's Break the Targets level from the original game, because that was actually the very first thing of the Smash Bros. series that I actually played. I was at a friend's birthday party, and um, they were, like, stuck on it and couldn't figure out how to beat it. And obviously, since I didn't know what I was really doing, I couldn't beat it either, but I gave it an honest effort. It had a thing like this at the bottom, where you had to, like, alternate your uh, jump and your pound attack. It isn't that hard if you know what you're doing, but yeah. Alright, it is the time everyone's been waiting for. Uh, let me make sure I've used, I've used every other character here. I'm pretty sure I have. I'm just looking at the little completed symbol at the bottom. Okay. So yeah, Marth is left. We all know what challenge I'm doing with Marth, and it's not going to be pretty. I just have to hope to get stupid lucky. It's like, I can't really go after characters. I'm afraid to do that. I have to make them come to me and hit them with smash attacks. This is what the entire playthrough is going to be. It's going to be cheap as hell, it's going to be boring, it's going to be stressful. I don't know how many turns, how many uh, tries, times I'm going to have to try this before I eventually get it. But I am not expecting great things to happen here. Also, I'm, af I'm afraid for my life here because uh, all it takes is one hit from uh, Fox's laser to mess it up. So I have to just kind of stay out of his way. Okay, there's Samus. Falcon, just take him out. Don't taunt, you asshole. Just take him out. I probably should not be standing uh, in line with him where he can hit me. Come on. Oh god, acid. Okay, good. You're dead. Now, I don't think I ever I actually have to beat Break the Targets, because if you die here, you're not taking damage. You're just dying. 
but uh, I always beat it just to be careful. So uh, because I've had to redo this so many times, um, just in the past, Marth's is one of the levels that I'm most familiar with. Oh shit, I forgot about these. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, I retract my previous statement because when I did this as a kid, I used Roy, not Marth. So yeah, um, you have to be very careful of those flippers. If I have to redo this, which is very likely, I will not be actually doing that level. Stay away from the crate, it might explode. Yeah, I want that. Oh, zap this. Cool. Shit, shit. Die. Dive. Damn it. Why are you not dead yet? Zapdos totally should have killed you. Oh, fuck. And I lose. Okay. I'm not going to be showing every uh, run-through of this. So I can go ahead and cut here, and I'll come back when I get to that point. Okay, now I've got a giant character. Um, I am probably going to want to stay far away from... Oh, oh. Okay. I don't know what happened there, but all right. That was different. Now a nice little relaxing stage where I can get pissed off at not being able to catch all the trophies. Yeah. Uh, or I can just die. Okay. Whatever. Versus Mayo! Just kind of hang out over here. And are we gonna die yet? Almost. Nope, not quite. Come on, freaking die. Okay, now we have a team battle, which uh, scares me a bit. Okay, good. It's a good. It's a team that won't be that hard. Let me uh, get to a corner and just start swinging. That's pretty much all I've got to do, and just hope that they don't like get good items or something. Oh fuck! I don't like it when they get close to me. They don't usually have the initiative to actually attack, but it is concerning because you never know when they will actually hit you. All it takes is one neutral A move, and you're dead. Pokeball, help me out. I don't even know what it came, what I got from it, but okay. Race right, so to the finish, yeah, not gonna frickin' bother. And that was it. Now, metal character, same thing. Oh god, and I've got two of them. Ugh, this could be ugly. Just usual strategy. Just let them come to me. Rack up the damage. They'll eventually die. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten hit yet, so that just leaves Master Hand here. Um, if I play it smart, I should be good. Let's just kind of hope to God that I manage to do that. Alright, uh... Oh shit. Uh, air dodge, okay. It's like, I want to beat him quickly, but I also have to be super careful here. Uh, now, if you want to get a little bit risky here, you can also use Marth's counter um, instead of the air dodge, which is actually better because then you're damaging him in the process. Okay, let's get far away from this. I don't want to take any unnecessary risks. Yeah, should probably use counter, but... Oh, oh, poke, 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 get away. Come on, almost dead. Almost dead. Are we dead? Are we dead? Okay. Let's check the freaking bonus list. I think I pulled this off. Second time only. I'm honestly surprised. And Shadow covers the time. That was a weird relic from the previous recording that probably didn't get shown. No damage clear. There it is. Hardest bonus in the game, and it didn't take very long for me to get. 
I am thrilled that that is the case. So yeah, let's get through this shit, and uh, it's easy to forget because obviously I had my own uh, goal during that playthrough there. But uh, I also had to play through Classic with Marth for other reasons, uh, because we're unlocking Roy here. Now luckily I don't actually have to beat Roy without taking damage. That would be kind of shitty, but uh, let's just see if I can manage to pull it off anyway, out of curiosity. Nope. Yeah, because he's not on very easy. He's probably on, like, normal. <clears throat> and then it turns out that I lose to Roy. Better for him not. Alright, so... I'm trying to think now. Um... This is pretty much all I plan to record. I'd have to go through adventure with freaking everybody now. Which... Oh, okay. I kind of just skipped over that. I didn't... whatever. But, uh... You know what, let's just keep going. I have to play through with Roy, so I might as well do it. So, uh... The main tidbit about Roy that most people are aware of, and I've probably already mentioned in this playthrough, and I just don't remember is that this is actually the first game he was in. Uh, he was... His quote-unquote debut was the sixth Fire Emblem game, I think. I think it's called Sword of Seals. I don't really know for sure. But, um... Yeah, this uh, melee came out first. And so what happened, at least from what I um, understand and what I've heard from uh, interviews and stuff, is... Uh, Sakurai wanted to include a different character um, act from Fire Emblem, actually in the original N64 game. I think it, uh, Sigurd is his name, or it might have been, it was either Sigurd or like Ephraim, I don't remember who. Um, oops. And I died. <clears throat> but anyway, that ended up not happening, and so for this game he put in Marth because he's the lord from the first game. And was, uh, once they found out later on in development that they were going to have time to put in the clones, uh, I think he contacted whatever company works on Fire Emblem. I don't freaking know the name of them. Um, he contacted them and asked like, what other character they would want in, and they basically said, like, we'll put in Roy from the new game. It'll be good advertisement. So they did. And so the uh, persistent running gag that I've heard of then. Um, every time a new Fire Emblem game comes out, uh, there's always a bunch of trolls on, like, game facts that, uh, will ask, like, hey, are Marth and Roy in this game? Um, trolls not necessarily being the case. They could actually be legitimately asking that. But, uh, I don't think they've ever been in a game together, except for, like, maybe Awakening DLC. I don't know. I know jack shit about Fire Emblem, so I can't really talk about it at all. I think that Roy's father, named Ellawood, was in one of the games released in America, but I don't even know which. My experience with the series consists of playing about three hours of the Sacred Stones. It was okay, but it wasn't really my thing. Uh, so I've played, I did that, and um, I watched Burnup play a bit of uh, Path of Radiance during the Jerry stream. That's about it. Not really my type of game. I mean, I hear Awakening is really good, and I could probably try it at one day, but. I have other games on the 3DS that actually are somewhat interesting to me, such as Kid Icarus Uprising and uh, Zelda Link Between Worlds, that I have still yet to play through, so I would probably get to those first. And speaking of 3DS games, um, obviously the 3DS Smash Bros. is out. I don't have it. I have no plans of getting it. We'll be getting the uh, Wii U one when it comes out next month, so I'm really hoping to uh, finish this LP before then, but I'm going to have to frickin' rush. 
But uh, that game and um, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire are coming out on the same day. So it's like I've got a better version of Brawl, which is basically a game I've played before, and I've got an enhanced version of Ruby Sapphire, which I've played before. And yet I am genuinely interested in both of them. <clears throat> so it's going to be, like, you're probably not going to hear from me at all once those games come out, because they're going to take up all of my freaking time. Anyway, since I haven't actually talked about Roy whatsoever here, um, once again, you are most likely aware of this, but uh, the difference between Martha and Roy, besides maybe a few, um, like a maybe speed difference or something, I don't really know if they're differently speeded or not. Speeded. But uh, the main thing with them is that Marth has to hit with the tip of the sword to do a lot of damage, whereas Roy's is kind of like in the... It's either the center or like, or like the hilt. I think, like, you want to get up close with people when you use Roy, uh, but uh, while it is easier to hit with Roy's sweet spot, it doesn't do as much damage as Marth's does. So that's kind of their thing. But that's pretty much it. Uh, I've now gotten through Classic with everybody except for the three characters I don't have unlocked. I have to do Adventure 20 four times now. Oh boy. I'm thinking this is going to be the end of this recording session. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I could possibly do. Yeah, did I actually, did I lose the break the targets level with them? I think I did. I'll have to check. curious to see what my final time is going to be once I uh, beat it with every character, because there are some characters that I did not do even remotely good with. Well, let's uh, rush it up. I hate this level, by the way. There is a trick to it, obviously, I just don't freaking remember how to do it. Like, I think the idea is that you want to use your up B to, like, hit those targets, and you want to land on the flipper, because then that gives you another up B that you can use. Yeah, that's... or it just knocks you over here, that works, too. Okay, that wasn't too bad at all. Alright, let me kind of just look over everybody's real quick, make sure I did all these. So I'll have to probably redo a few, but I think that's it for right now. Let's actually check on my time so far. Uh, cards. Uh, playtime, 3.43. That's not... Wait, the power time is 5.50. What the hell? What is that extra time there? Probably, like, loading screens and stuff. I don't know. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off here. Uh, that's the end of that segment. Next time, probably more events. Unless I decide to get ambitious and do adventure mode. See you then.